Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here bringing you yet another episode of Scrap Mechanic. Today's episode is going to be kind of a redo. And when I say redo, uh, the other day I went back and rewatched my off-road bus video. And for it being my second build, I was really inexperienced and I, I kind of figured how could I have done this build better. And well, one of the things I kept, kept flashing in my head is this build could have been so much bigger. This could have been a huge just off-road school bus and it turned out to be kind of small like i said it is what it is it it was kind of my first well i, I say my first it was my first video on scrap mechanic i wouldn't necessarily say it was my first build but i've learned a lot of ways to do things better now and kind of techniques so i'm going to kind of use those and just kind of redo the build i want it to be probably at least two to three times as big. I want it to seat twice, at least twice as many people. And I just want it to be just a big behemoth of a bus. I want it to look awesome. I want it to be just overpowered and I want it just to have a lot of, have just a ton of wheels and seat a ton of people. I mean, it's just, I'm gonna, I want everything just to go over the top with it. So I'm starting here in the cockpit area and I'm going to just keep stacking up the seats here. I'm gonna. I'm not sure exactly how many I'm gonna put in, but I want it to seat a lot of people. So this uh, this should be good. Let me go back a little further here. And oh, looks like I misaligned those. Let's go ahead and place that one there. There we go. And correct this row. But as I was saying. I just want this to be just a huge bus. Uh, I've got some ideals. Uh, I watched the way I did the uh, side door on the other bus, and it was I didn't really understand the controller and the bearings as much as I do now, so I can go back and make it actually open up like traditional bus doors. I kind of want to have like almost like an escape door in the back. Uh, kind a lot of buses do have some sort of emergency door in the back, but I want it to be like a just a big door that folds down. And I've just got a lot of ideals for it, so I'm going to do a little bit of skipping around this video. Like I said, a lot of the things that I am going to do suspension-wise, uh, I've got a couple of new ideals, but a lot of it will be the same kind of ways that I have been building, so I will do some skipping around. I'm not going to really show myself build this shell that I'm building right now because, I mean, it's real simple. And it's just stuff that I just feel it's unnecessary. So yeah, there will be a lot of skipping around in this video, but just want to kind of show you the the differences that I'm doing. Okay, we are on the... I'm doing the suspension in the back. Uh, I'm going to go with the six wheels in the back. And I, I've got an idea. I'm just kind of measuring right now. I'm trying to make sure I have a large enough gap in between the huge wheels that I'm using. And i got to make sure that it's got enough on the inside that way I can do two wheels side by side I had already kind of screwed it up in the f first well I screwed it up a while ago and, and I didn't put enough of a gap in between the wheels and that was already script number one and let's see now this bus is gonna work uh, these springs are really gonna compress because uh, there's gonna be a, those seats themselves are there's a lot of weight there so one of the ideals I kind of had, and I'm gonna I'm gonna try it out, and hopefully it doesn't freak the game out. Because a lot of times when you start messing with springs, uh, the game tends to just flip out. I, I forgot to put a I should have put this piece in here because I need bearings on each side, so that was already a screw up. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna see what happens. I'm gonna try. I might double spring it because I feel like it's gonna need a lot of travel, a lot of suspension because it's gonna be really heavy. So I'm going to, let me do it like this first and I'm going to set it down, but I might have to go back and I'm thinking about adding a second spring. I'm going to see how much it compresses with this kind of traditional setup first. And I need to go ahead and do the other side here. So, okay, we've almost completed it and I, I compressed it while ago. It, it didn't do well. It bottomed out immediately. So I'm doing the double spring ideal that I have here. This will work but my only concern is the game really once I set this thing off the lift I, lift I'm afraid this game's gonna freak out it's it's done it before I've seen really strange things happen the frames will tank I don't know what it I think it's some sort of glitch I've gone around the forums kind of 
searched around and and a lot of people seem to have this issue. So I'm going to I'm going to see what happens when I do it. If not the uh, last ideal I have is just to do the one spring and just make a basically put a lot more pole or pipe in between and just try to make it more stiff, but I mean I, I want it to compress. I want it the the wheels to jump around and go over things really easy, so I don't know. I want to try this first to see if this works out. Place bearings, and I can already see I screwed that one up because that's not the same length. So let's add some pipe here and spring and more pipe. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's just trying to wanting to show you the suspension. I'm not going to go over everything here, but I want you to at least be able to see what I'm doing. Okay, well, we're finishing the shell up here. Uh, I didn't show most of it because, like I said, I'm literally just putting a roof on the uh, bus. So, I'm going to walk through here and probably going to get rid of those bearings down there because I think the door is going to be in the back. Originally, uh, I think the bus, I was kind of planning it for me, uh, for it to be a little bit shorter. And so I need to extend those out. So let's go ahead and build a little console here. Also, I want there to be, uh, a lot of times in buses, you'll see this kind of bar for the passengers on the right side. If they don't have a seat in front of them, they have this kind of bar. I guess it's almost like a, something you can hold on to if everybody's going to die. So, I might as well just place that there. And I think we're going to go ahead and do the doors. I want the double doors. And one thing that I'm seeing, I can go, I don't know, I might have to make these wide. Let me try this out the way it is now, but I might have to make it wider because I have a feeling once these open up, it's not going to be enough of a gap to squeeze through. Let's go ahead and get our controller here and button. Let's see. There we go. Place that there and that there. And let's go do the doors here. Just two blocks. And let's go ahead. I think we're going to go ahead and delete. Well, don't want to do the back. Yeah, I'm going to delete these. I'm going to go ahead and attempt kind of a back door. Um, I think it's just going to fold straight down once I'm thinking about it here. I just want it to, I just kind of want it just to come out and just fold right down. So almost, almost like a ramp. I don't think I'm going to make it go down quite as far. It's, it's literally, uh, it's not made to go into the bus. I think it's kind of like an emergency escape. So make the ramp go down and I think I'm going to have, might have doors on the, oh, that's not, oh, that's not even, huh? Okay. Let's delete that. Maybe. No. Maybe I should just do the ramp. I was going to do doors on the inside. Now let me just delete the bearings. The ramp should be enough. It's All it's going to be used for is a quote-unquote escape. I just want to have another way out of the bus, really. And I only need one bearing for this, so... I'm thinking something like that would be okay. Also, you're seeing a lot of exposed suspension. I'm going to have to go back, and I'll make the bus's shell go down and start covering. I'm just kind of, I'm leaving it open. That way I can go back once the, once I get it off the uh, lift, I can see it compress and see where, you know, it might need work, where I need to improve. Uh, you can kind of see where the weight's shifted. It's, there's a lot of things you can tell by just staring at the suspension. So let's see, let's go ahead and work on the doors opening. By default, I want the doors, of course, to be open. And then I can go back and I want it to have like a button right by the steering wheel where I can close them. So, uh, suspension. Oh, yeah, my frames it tanked here, and also, yeah, that door is not gonna be. I'm not gonna be able to get through those side doors. I'm gonna have to make it bigger. And my God, this. So I'm talking about. You can see the suspension was going crazy, bouncing up and down. Um, I don't think my double suspension is going to work. I'm going to have to redo it. Unfortunately, I kind of like the ideal. I just like 
It's like one of the coolest things in the game is when you get an off-road vehicle and you can watch the springs jump up and down and it's just kind of awesome. But right now they're just freaking out, so. I don't know. Kind of sucks. So yeah, we'll go ahead and redo that. Let's see. I'm going to place the things over here. Delete this door. I'm going to widen this door by one more square because I'm not I can't get out of it the way it is now and you might hear dogs in the background because they're going crazy let's see what else do I need to do here just go ahead and delete the bearings and extend this out and let's see let's do one here one here that should be good. I should be able to squeeze out of it now. That bar's kind of in the way. It might move that back a little bit. Let's go ahead and place those there. And I'm thinking that's gonna work. I need to I need to work on this suspension though. This is this is gonna be bad because I'm not gonna be able to drive this thing around with the frames freaking out. It's just something that's really annoying and I don't know, it's just something I wish was kind of fixed in the game, but it is early access, they're still working on it, and there, there's a there's a couple things, there's a couple big complaints I have about the game right now. Uh, I As you might have noticed, I, I don't do many, oh, I don't think I've done any air vehicles on any episodes, because the model, the way it works right now is just really scurry. You have to put about a thousand different thrusters to make anything actually go in a direction you want it to, or you have to have an ungodly amount of controls. I've seen a lot of, and a lot of people have done really good with it. They've had their builds that they would have, they would actually have multiple people controlling the aircraft or whatever they're doing at the same time. And, I mean, it's just, it's a lot of work for, you know, something that I feel like should be a little bit more fleshed out. But like I said, early access... They're still working on it. Hopefully they do a lot of improvements in that area because there's a lot needed. So kind of right now I'm in the area where I'm, I'm sticking to vehicles. And I'm thinking about doing some buildings. Uh, I thought about doing a big garage area. And I thought, you know, because there's a lot of times where I build like tall vehicles and it's hard for me to get on them. Or I thought about building like a big garage that's got kind of scaffolding and just little bridges and stuff that I could stand on and actually be able to kind of go over my vehicles and my creations. So I've got some ideals. Maybe that's what I'm going to do for the next episode. I'm not really 100% sure. So we'll kind of we'll kind of work that out. I'm going to go ahead and extend this down a little bit. Like I said, I'm going to make the bus a little, look a little bit beefier, look like a, a little bit more fuller body here. And those even. I think I need to come down one. There we go. And I'm gonna have to tackle the suspension here in a second. And that's I don't like having to redo that always, but you gotta do it. Let's see. Well, we're gonna we're gonna give it a test here, just one more time. As you can see, my frames are they've just tanked, and the suspension's just hopping up and down. I'm just I'm just trying this out just to see if. You know, it. See, I mean, it. The ta the tires and the wheels. They're they're bouncing up and down. It's it's kind of working the way I was thinking it was gonna work, and it, it rides actually fairly well. But I mean, the frames are just god awful right now. So I'm gonna have to probably get in there and correct it. Also, I need to fill in that little gap on the roof there. Yeah. It's unfortunate, but yeah, I'm going to have to go back down there and correct that. Uh, I've got the door chair working, so of course I can get out easily. But yeah, I'm going to do, I'm going to correct the suspension. And we're actually, we're not that far from being done. I, I've just got to really put a decent looking front end on it. And it's going to be a lot of cosmetic things. Like I said, this is not really supposed to be a complicated build. I, I just kind of wanted to redo my first build and make it, a little more extreme or a little more kind of how I originally envisioned envisioned it but like I said I, I just I didn't have a lot of experience with the game so I'm now taking the opportunity to do this 
But yeah, I mean, if any of you guys have any ideals for builds, anything you'd like to see, I mean, just comment down in the uh, comment section. I've been pretty good about responding to people because, I mean, it's always good hearing other people's feedback, other people's, you know, if they want to see certain builds, they want to see me try something, or if they have a suggestion for what they're seeing on screen, you know, like, hey, you could do it better this way. I've already had some people do that, and I've taken some of that into consideration, you know, for my next builds of how I could do things better. So if you if you notice anything, just let me know in the comments, and we'll uh, I'll try to get back with you, and we can kind of work on it. Let's see. Go ahead and double these up. Uh, like I said, next thing I'm gonna do, I'm probably gonna make the uh, shell go down a little further here, because I imagine this suspension is gonna set just a little bit higher now that I don't have two springs on it, so or shocks, whatever you wanna call them. So I'll have to make it set up a little. I'll have to make the shell set down a little further. Also, I need to... Uh, I can't jump into the door right now. The side door is a little too tall. So I want to make like a... Some sort of steps. And maybe I'm going to make it out of pipe or something. And I'll probably show you how I'm going to put those together. And show you kind of what I'm doing. I don't know. There's, like I said, there's a lot of things that I could... Uh, my videos could be really long. But I'm going to try my best to cut these down and... That doesn't, is it? No, that doesn't look like we're short here. But like I said, I, I try to cut my videos down to where you're not watching, you know, an hour of me doing very simple things. I like to try to show at least some of the more intricate things that I'm doing. But let's see. I need the short pipe here. Okay. But let's see. I mean, I've been going and watching other YouTubers, their scrap mechanic, uh, creations and there's been a lot of good things out there. there's been a lot of good stuff out there I'm I'm jealous of some people that I you know it's like man I wish I would have thought of that first or yeah you know, there's there's a lot of there's a lot of really good creations so kind of just look around get some inspiration see how other people are doing certain things and I you know sometimes it makes what I'm doing easier you know like well that, that was an easier way to do it and that's why I like comments I like you know, answering people. So, uh, like I said, if you have any suggestions, anything you'd like for me to do, just just comment. Okay, we're gonna do the front end. I'm trying to see. I've got several different grill ideals. I'm probably just gonna use. They have this radiator piece here. I don't know if I'm gonna stick it just right in the middle or if I'm gonna. I'm thinking about filling the whole front end up. I don't know. This radiator piece. Let me. Trying to see how long I am here. If I were to stick it in the middle here, nope, that's not even. Could just do two right in the middle like that. But I could also just fill the whole front, make it look like just a massive grill on the front of it. I think I like that better. That's that's pretty good. Also need to make this shell to come down. I need to make the shell come down a little bit, and I'm also gonna add a little bit of shape to it where it isn't makes it where it isn't as square. Uh, let's see. Keep doing that. I'm trying to eye it and get an idea of exactly what I'm going to add here. Of course, I'm going to add the standard lights and all that other good stuff. Um, another thing, and like I said, early access, they're still pumping out, but I mean, I'm, I'm hoping they get rolling on like parts and pieces soon because you start. I have a lot of builds that I haven't even shown on video, and a lot of them are failed builds, or like really bad, or something's like, well, this isn't worth showing. But uh, you know, you kind of start running out of pieces, and you kind of have to start thinking of you start start thinking of different ways to you know do things just to try to make it unique. So you know, I kind of sitting here waiting for new pieces to play with. So that's why I might start also doing some other games like Besiege. Uh, there's a lot of other creation games where they're a little bit more fleshed out at the moment. So I'm going to probably start playing some of those. It looks pretty good there. Uh, I'm going to add some lights and just some of the basic cosmetic items. And I think, we'll, I think we should be pretty good. Uh, we should be in good shape here. Probably need to shape this out a little bit more. There we go. I'm going to do the other side here. Okay. I was going to told you I was going to show you how I'm going to I'm going to make some sort of almost like a small maybe step ladder or just stairs 
uh, when this thing sets up, it I can't get into it. And I don't feel like climbing over the tire every time. I also um, added kind of what I had on the first build. I had some blocks, some metal blocks, and some of the, I think it's like the wires or something. It makes it kind of look like there's a big motor in the front. I, I did the same thing. I just made it look a little bit more massive. You'll uh, see it once I start driving here in a minute. But I'm trying to see how I want to do these. I need to make it come down. I at least need two, maybe three steps here to be able to actually jump into it. So let's go ahead and make it go down here. And maybe just across. That might be uh, long enough. I might need to go one more down. I don't know. Let's see. Can I make it? No. Okay, let's, let's go a little further down. Uh, let's get rid of those. There we go. And down. Make sure I copy everything correctly here and make sure I don't make it. Uh, I've had big builds where I've done something and then I look at the other side that I was supposed to do the same thing and I've completely screwed it up, so I'm really particular about that. All right, well, uh, I believe we've put all the cosmetic items we've uh, that I wanted to put on there. I've extended the shell down. I put a bumper on the back here. Uh, everything's in pretty good shape. I've got it where I can climb up into it now, so we're good there. I'm going to kind of show you the inside. I've got a lot more seating than I had in the first, bu uh, first bus. And I've got my big... Uh, the reason there's a big walls back here, that's where the suspension actually comes up into the bus, the back... Suspension I made a little bit bigger and got a horn uh, the new useless tool they added in here And we can close our doors and we are ready to ride Or drive whatever you want to call it and now this is funny um, This thing's so large that Even at I can extend the camera out really far and it's still not far enough um, this is about as far as it goes, and I still can't get all the way behind the bus, so this thing's really massive. Uh, they might need to add a little bit more range to the, uh, camera. But I'm gonna try to, it's gonna be kind of hard to drive, I wanna, I mean, it, I wanna be able to, like, turn around a lot and show you the front, show you everything working, kind of giving you an idea of what it looks like in motion, but... Surprisingly, this thing, it thing drives really good. I mean, it drifts out a little bit, but it's, for how big it is, it's fairly nimble. It turns really well. If not a little too well, it likes to drift. Um, let's see if we can take it around this. No, I don't. Yep, yep, just caught it. Just caught it. And there's a wall. Let's back up here. It's a, it's kind of a fun little bus to drive. Oh, not little bus. I would say big bus. Let's see. Let's just keep going around here. Things that it's got good speed. I've got one, two, I think I have six motors in it right now. There's a lot of bearings to power. You're talking at each suspension piece has two or, yeah, two wheels, one on each side. So there's a lot of bearings there to power. And there's a tree. This thing takes uh, hills really well. I mean, as you can see, the suspension compressing. It's actually, uh, it works really well here. Let's see. Let's go over here. Try to find things I can kind of hop over and jump. I'm not really funny. I need to go back this way. Kind of see the uh, first person here. Kind of a cool looking cockpit. That looks fairly similar to the other bus. Let's see. There we go. Go back to, out to the big camera. Let's try to find some hills to hop here. And that's, that's probably gonna be about it for this build. Like I said, I just I didn't I wasn't going to do anything overly complicated today. I was having a little trouble trying to figure out what I wanted to do next and I started going back through my old videos and I saw the bus video and it's it's doing fairly well as far as views. I thought, well maybe I you know, you go back, you kinda start criticizing yourself, thinking, you know, man, I should have did I should have done this, I should have done this, you know, bigger, better. So that's kinda what I figured I would do today and kind of maybe make it just a little more to the extreme because it's one of the fun things to do in the game. Make some ridiculous vehicles. 
But anyways, I'm going to be playing some more scrap mechanic. I've got another big ideal. I was originally, I also had another build planned. And unfortunately, it I had to scrap it because my capturing software kind of, I don't know, something wasn't acting right. Uh, the game crashed. So that was really frustrating. So I'll try to get another episode out here in a couple days. Uh, maybe something a little bit more complicated. I don't know. And then also, I'm looking into some other games. Besieged being one of those. I'm going to kind of practice around with it. And there's just a couple games on my radar that I'm probably going to start making some videos on. So, like I said, uh, we'll see you guys next time.